Greetings, welcome to the Narrow West Christ for All Nations. I'm Brother Zana David. I welcome you to today's message. As we look into the Word of God today, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will minister to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Savior and King, the whole world is in your hand. You have determined before the foundations of the world we are laid that you will fulfill your utmost purpose, your supreme will. Here we are, Lord. We ask that you direct our hearts unto wisdom and help us to know the times that we are living in. Lord, we can say we know it all. Therefore, Spirit of the Lord, speak to us, speak through me to us. Lord, heal our hearts, energize us, cause as many that are weak to become strong again. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. In case you are new to this channel or you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Wherever you're watching us from, make sure you follow and turn on the notification bell so that you can receive a lot whenever we post any video. Today we want to talk about end time today end time today we are actually living in the heart of the end time but many people are not aware that this is the end time some people think that it is actually some hundreds of years to come but no the end time is now and we have to be careful please share this video share this video do me a favor by sharing this video is going to help someone matthew chapter 24 i want to stick to this matthew chapter 24 in this message and by the grace of god we shall go to daniel chapter 12 matthew 24 verse 3 as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us what shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to must come to pass but the end is not yet for nations shall, shall rise against nations and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows we are talking about end time today it's my prayer that the Lord will minister to each and every one of us the end time is a time that the earth will be wrapping up its activities and then at the very peak of it the Lord Jesus Christ will come it is a time that we expect the return of the Son of Man first of all in the rapture in the air and the dead in Christ will rise first and those who are alive who are qualified, who are righteous, who have made their robes white in the blood of the Lamb, will meet the Lord in the air. And then we go and be with the Lord forever. And then there will be tribulation. Tribulation of period of seven years. And then the second half of the seven years there will be the great tribulation a time that has never existed that has never existed in the history of the world and then immediately after the great tribulation the sign of the son of man shall appear in the clouds the powers in the heavens shall be shaken and then the kingdoms of this earth the people of this world, both great and small, 
they shall all weep. All kindreds of this world shall all weep when they see the Son of Man coming in the power of His glory. They shall all weep because many of them done. They, they treated His word with levity, with disdain, with all sorts of negligence. And they will weep and say, oh, so it is really true. Please, I beg each and every one of us today that we should be those who will live their lives as if we are here to enjoy and be the houses and live all the good life and have all these success. But without the knowledge of the Lord, may that not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So when Jesus Christ was asked, he was asked three questions. When these things you're talking about, when shall these times be? Then what shall be the signs of the end time? Lastly, what shall be the sign of the return of the Son of Man? And Jesus Christ quickly warned them and he said, Listen, I have to warn you seriously that be careful, be careful. Men, be careful. My people, be careful. Take heed that no man deceive you. I watched a video of which is a very, very short clip. A woman said uh, it was on the Dr. Phil uh, program. She said, I knew I supposed to be born blind. So I took my decision to take my own sight because I've always loved to be blind. Now that it is within my power, I decided to blind my own eyes. This is a terrible time that we are living in. It is a time that people can identify as a cat. People can identify as a rat. People can identify as a lion. People identify as dragons. And they modify themselves to look like whatsoever thing they want to look like. Some even identify as lame people. So also some people have decided to identify God as anything. They have decided to create gods in their hearts. They imagine that what if a God could exist and that God could allow anything. A God that allows anything. A God that doesn't forbid anything. People have created idols in their minds. There are different kind of churches today. There are churches where people go to church with the Bible and the Quran. But that is not a church. The two religions, they don't mix. They are like the iron and the clay. They will never mix any day. I remember Tony Blair saying that he reads both the Bible and the Quran. They can try to manufacture the gods in their imagination and bring them into existence for themselves and worship them. But the truth is that God is one. He will never change. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ told the disciples, Take heed, lest no man deceive you. You have to be careful so that nobody, nobody deceives you. We are living in a time of deception. People are being deceived. And some of those who have been deceived have found themselves on the pulpit. And they are deceiving people. If a blind man leads a blind man, both of them will end up in a pit. And that's exactly what is happening today. We see thousands of people, millions of people who have been deceived and they are happy. They think that they are worshiping God. They think that they are, they are rendering services to God. But they are actually opposing the kingdom. They think that we save them from the destruction that is coming upon this world. Men, women, be careful. Take heed that nobody deceive you. We're talking about end time today. The time of the end time is a time that many will be led astray. Many are being led astray. Many have forgotten about God. Many have forgotten about faith. Many have forgotten about truth. In fact, someone was saying, who did heaven help? We talk about going to heaven. She said, who did heaven help? Who heaven help? So a lot of people don't even 
care about heaven. I think we need to tell people how horrible hell looks like. So that they will know that when you miss heaven, there is no position that exists between heaven and hell. And there is no going back. It is a one-way traffic path. If you enter and you find yourself successfully in hell, there is no coming back. So it is, if you successfully find yourself in heaven, there is no coming back. But unfortunately, hell is designed in a way that those who are there can see those who are in heaven. Like the rich man who saw from hell, he saw that the poor man was in the bosom of Abraham and he said oh father Abraham could you please just send him look at what he requested for let him dip his finger in water and take it to him not even a cup of water not a bottle of water it is just dip your finger that is how scarce water is in hell take it we are in the end time we are in one of the worst, one of the most terrible times in the history of the world. It is a time that we are moving so quickly from freedom into anarchy. It is a time we are moving from freedom into bondage. The rights of man are being shredded away. We are living in one of the worst times. Things are changing so fast. But people are so carried away by their problems. People are carried away by troubles. People are carried away by false doctrines. People are carried away by entertainment. People are carried away by hardship. When you hear the rumors of war, some of these wars were just manufactured to distract us so that we will not know what is happening. But I tell you the truth that the enemy is not asleep. He has never slept and he's not ready to go to bed. He's not ready to sleep. Why? Because they are working day and night to enslave humanity. But we need to stand strong. Be wise. Child of God, be wise. If Jesus says for all, upon all the things he talked about, if he could start with, be careful, take heed. Today, I remind you, please take heed. Be careful. Be careful. It is better not to be born than to be born and end up in hell. And go home lamenting and go home weeping, crying and regretting for not submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and not following to the end. Let's continue with this passage. Remember Jesus Christ said, these are the beginning of woes. These are the beginning of sorrows. Please, the, uh, it's not that someone cannot get salvation during the period of the tribulation. Of seven years but why wait for that time it is going to be too horrible it is going to be too terrible don't wait for it don't ever allow your weakness stop you from following the Lord don't allow your human weakness your doubts your addictions your bad character your uh, low level of faith your small faith, don't allow any of these stop you from taking part in the rapture of the saints because it is going to be just too terrible for those who are going to be left behind. These, the wars, the rumors of wars, they are the beginning of sorrows. That means when you the things we are seeing we haven't even started seeing anything me i don't even want to be here because it is going to be too bad too terrible don't ever be left behind i i never wish my worst enemy to be left behind don't ever be left behind be focused follow the lord don't give up we are in the end times end times today 
These are the very end times. We need to be watchful. Be watchful, man. Be watchful, woman. Be watchful. Don't get carried away by this, this wave of miracle. Yes, miracle is good, but it shouldn't take the place of the truth. It shouldn't take the place of the zeal for righteousness and holiness and longing and pursuing the kingdom of God. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. But don't give up. Let's look at. Okay, let's move on. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. <laughs> many shall be offended. A lot of people pick offense. Me, I picked offense some time ago. Don't pick offense. Whatsoever thing that has been done against you, please convert it to zeal, convert it to strength, and keep moving. Sometimes oh, I, I tell myself that this is my hell. I don't want to be in another hell. This world is my hellfire. I'm not going to another hell after now. And for those of us who are born in Nigeria, especially those of us who are born poor, this is our hellfire. If you are a Nigerian, don't go to another hell because Satan is here. Satan lives in Nigeria. He has his headquarters in Nigeria. Satan lives here. Don't go to another hell because from the moment of birth, in fact from conception, we experience hell in this country. This is hell. It is, it is an earthly hell we have everything we need but we live in hell because there are some people who see abuja they see abuja like a coven where they go to and plan evil on how to enslave their citizens so it is not actually a lot of people are not saying there are no good politicians a lot of people see abuja as a place they go to and plan evil. Nigeria has been held in captivity for years and we need to understand the strategy of the devil. In fact, one day I was saying that Satan is afraid of this country. Satan himself is afraid of Nigeria. He's afraid to come here because the level, even Satan is shocked. The level of wickedness that is being practiced in Nigeria, Satan is shocked. Even Satan is not as wicked as some of as some of our politicians and pastors. He's not as wicked as that. He's afraid. He's afraid of. He's afraid. He can't even come here because he could be held and overthrown. When you watch TV, sometimes you see people wearing horns, they call it themselves Satan and different kind of names. Here, people practicalize it. They, it's not about costume. They practicalize it. It's about the thing of their heart and not about costume. Most times, Satan dare not come to this country because he's afraid of being overthrown because when he sees the level of wickedness that is being perpetrated, the, I, we, we saw videos of people who, that stacked money and some of them got destroyed by termites. So, I mean, I'm talking about a country of over 200 million people of which majority of them live below the poverty line. Children are into prostitution in this country and some people steal all the money away. You think those people have a human heart? and some pastors whose members are dying and they don't care they still preach this prosperity gospel that twists people's minds and try to manipulate people's emotions and use demonic and diabolical powers to manipulate people to give the little they have and they care nothing about those who are dying satan is afraid of this country 
I'm not saying there are not good people here. There are very good people in Nigeria. In fact, you see many people in different places doing so well. Many of them are from Nigeria. Many of them, when they are here, they don't do well. Once they leave, two, three years, give them a few years. You see them blossoming. But here, there are people, politicians, who see themselves as wizards and witches who go to go into politics and they hand over the agenda of keeping the masses poor perpetually to them and they pursue the dream. The judgment of God is coming. I know it is coming. It is coming and it's going to be very, very hot. I was on the bike, uh, I think, uh, two days ago. And I was telling the bike man that many of our politicians are too wicked. That this world is my hell and I will never go to another hellfire. This is hellfire and no Nigeria should go to another. Wherever you're watching me from, don't go to hell. And for those of you who are already in hell, don't go to another hellfire because it will be too terrible. Don't ever go to another hell. For those of you who made our world to become terrible and inhabitable for us, the judgment of God is coming. You can enjoy yourself. Don't even repent if you like. But I know that he will last last, last best. You laugh for 80 years. You defrauded people for 80 years. But it is going to be, your reward is going to be zillions of years without ending so continue i'm not jealous of anybody that has money i'm not jealous of you because many of you i know your end if you don't repent i know your end it can be well with you you can prosper and live your life the way you want yes you can prosper in this world but me and for those of us who are not of this world we will never be jealous of your money. We will never be jealous of the peace you have. I know that Satan doesn't, I, 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 Satan doesn't fight those he is done with. Some of you, Satan is done with you, he's through with you, he has forgotten about your case. You are like a fish that is already in the soup. The fisherman will never fish you. You're already in Satan's soup. But I advise you to break free now. Because the judgment of God is coming and it is going to be very, very terrible. Do not pick offense. He has told us that it's, going, it's not going to be easy. So don't pick offense. Don't hold anything against the Lord. Don't use your human wisdom to judge the Lord. Let's look at verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wask cold. This is exactly what is happening today. Deception is so high, especially because of greed. Too much greed. People are so greedy. In fact, there is a, a doctrine, a false doctrine, that is being promoted in the world right now among those rich top ministers not all of them some of them it is called kingdom now kingdom now doctrine this doctrine they believe that the church is going to be in charge in the end time the church is going to be in charge of the wealth in the world they will be in power they will be in charge and they will control things one of them was saying one of them who have millions of members across the world he was saying that um god revealed to him that there will be the church is going to have embassies in different places and he was just talking that just the way countries have embassies in different places where where will it happen it is never here. It is never written in the Bible. Rather, we are told that the system of this world, the older the world gets, the more the, the evil system of this world is going to close against us. 
human rights will continue to shrink and shrink persecution against Christians, persecutions against the free men until finally the rapture takes place. Boom! And then the Antichrist is revealed. The man of sin will then be revealed and it will become too terrible, too terrible to bear. Don't be there. Don't be here. That's time. Make sure you get raptured because it's going to be too terrible for those who are going to be left behind. I don't even want to be here. I, I can't negotiate that. It's beyond negotiation. It is signed and sealed. I will never be here. I ask God to give me grace to remain pure because the rapture is for people who are pure and those who died in the Lord. Don't allow anybody to make you love worse good. Love. Without love, nobody will make it. Let love lead in your heart. Don't let the wickedness of mankind stop you from doing good. Do good. Because very soon we shall all reap everything we have done in the body. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Don't allow anything stop you from doing good. Don't be tired. Don't be weary of well-doing. Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come listen sometimes god sends his children messages oh go and tell this brother this go and tell that woman this go and tell this nation this it's not every time that he is actually expecting repentance there are times that he would know that this man is never going to repent but he would still send you to go and warn them why because he wants you to be without excuse sometimes you will be in the on the internet and then you are just scrolling and then a message pops up and says repent 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 believe in jesus repent and be saved let me tell you if you do not repent, if you have not repented and you do not repent, that word you heard on the internet is going to torment you. It's going to stand as witness against you on the last day. Christians, are you preaching? This is the end time. Are you preaching? Are you reaching out to people? Are you telling them about the danger that is ahead? Are you telling them? Tell them, tell everyone around you that Jesus is coming. The signs are everywhere. Tell them, blow your trumpet, blow the trumpet of the gospel and tell everyone around you that he is coming. It is going to be terrible. This is the end time. Listen, we need to understand where we are actually going. Uh, a video will be live on Eagle Eye Open Global Outreach today. It is about what God told me about AI, artificial intelligence, and how the Antichrist is going to use it. Please try and watch that video. As we are talking now, about 114 countries of the world have either adopted CBDC, central bank digital currency, or they are testing it right now. Even where I stand right now in Nigeria, they are about celebrating, they will soon celebrate second year anniversary of central bank digital currency. I got a test message recently, about uh, three days ago, Encouraging me to use the e-Naira, which is a Nigerian's version of the digital currency. And the globalists are saying that they want the whole world 
to use digital money. They want to eliminate cash. Why? Because the scripture must come to pass. A time is coming, you will not be able to sell, you will not be able to buy if you do not agree to have the number or the name of the beast, if you refuse to receive the mark of the beast, if you refuse to receive the number of his name, you will not be able to allow, you will not be allowed to buy or sell. Because you can't have digital money without a digital identity that is tied to the digital money. And because of security, there are going to be different kinds of measures. So they're going to tell you, no, for you to assess this money, you need to do this. You need to receive this. You need to receive that. It's going to be terrible. Please get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Let's move on. I want us to jump to verse 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heavens and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory let's see they can take the bible and prayers from schools the people of this world can take the truth from the church the people of this world, they are very much free to take Jesus Christ from their government. But you cannot take the Son of Man from heaven and stop him from appearing in the clouds to claim his own world. He is coming. And for those of you who have resolved to grow and sink your heart in wickedness, be ready for the Son of Man. He's coming. He's coming. It's too much evil in the world too much evil but who is man that he chooses to do evil I see people boast people boast boast with all their power all their strength they boast ordinary breath the breath that God gave to you instead of using that opportunity to do good You've resolved to do evil with all your life. Fortunately, many of these people who are specialized in doing evil, they are in the church. Some of them are in the pulpit. Some of them are pastors. Some of them are bishops. They are hiding under different positions in the church. But if you do not have the spirit of a living girl, I tell you the truth, you don't belong to him. If you have another spirit and you are hiding in the church, you don't belong to Jesus Christ. That time of his appearance will be too terrible. And there will be nothing like repentance. The powers in the heavens shall shake. Why don't we call ourselves to order now? We are talking about a battle that started in heaven. Revelation chapter 12. A battle that started in heaven. Lucifer and his angels, one third of the stars of heaven, rebelled. And they are here. And you are following them. You, you don't know how much these people have how much evil they have done you are following them oh sorry 
I pity you. Come out from them. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in their punishments. You don't know how much evil Satan did. When God created Lucifer, he didn't create hell. But God decided to prepare hell for Satan and his fallen angels. And you are on your way with them. You are in that wrong group. Why don't you come out? The Bible says that when the Son of Man is going to come, everybody will weep. People are going to weep. The whole nations of the earth will weep. The all tribes, all tribes of the earth, they will weep. Why are you in that camp? Oh, why don't you want to come out? Jesus is calling. This is the end time. There are no more signs we are expecting before the rapture will take place. The rapture can take place anytime. But the second coming of Jesus Christ, oh, there are signs. We have to see the tribulation and the great tribulation first. And immediately after the great tribulation, it will appear. But why don't you look at the signs around the world? All around the world. And believe. Okay, look at the central bank digital currency. About 95% of the world's economy have already embraced central bank digital currency. U.S. has lost her own Fed now. China has done their own. Listen, a time is coming. The money you are pursuing, and because of that money, have forsaken God. A time is coming. That money is going to be useless to you. You won't be able to use it. Come out of that camp. Let me read Daniel. Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. Um, let me read from verse 8. And I heard, but I understood not. Daniel heard, but never understood what he heard. Because the things were so confusing. For instance, he was told that knowledge shall increase and people shall run to and fro. Technology was described. He couldn't understand the things that were described about the end time. Just imagine uh, John being told that people won't be able to buy People won't be able to sell when they were using gold, silver, copper, precious stones to buy and sell, trade, buy butter. John couldn't understand. Yes, but today we know, we understand. We understand very well that with CBDC, you need not buy, not sell, except you accept the terms. And if you say no, your money will be gone. Daniel didn't understand. But now we understand. And then, then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? He asked, what shall be the end of these things? He did not understand. Verse 9. And he said, Daniel, Daniel, these things, they don't even concern you. Go thy way, Daniel. For the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. These words, I just told you, seal them up. You don't need to write it on a tablet and run with it. No, 
seal them up and they are unveiling right now they are being unveiled before our very time seal them up but in the end time something is going to happen what will happen many verse 10 many shall be purified these people are not going to wash themselves but God shall bring a kingdom and the terms of admitting people into this kingdom will be by faith by faith believing in the name of Jesus Christ for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved not by works but by faith in Jesus Christ alone God is going to bring a system of grace that will purify people let me tell you it is not those who are righteous that are going to heaven it is those who have been made righteous because in ourselves we can't be righteous in ourselves it is by grace so you have to make a decision that should I go to that place of eternal rest by putting my faith in the finished work of Christ or I should say oh all men are sinners so I should enjoy myself and then throat the death of Jesus Christ and his eternal blood and enjoy myself to the fullest you have to choose if I die today will I make heaven why not by God's grace but am I perfect now no I'm not perfect am I working towards perfection am I working towards perfection yes every day I want to be like Christ So I'm not telling you that I have my own righteousness. Whatsoever thing I am doing is living, trying to be like Christ. I fall many times, but I don't remain falling. The fact that an expert makes mistake doesn't mean that it's no longer an expert. Experts, they make mistakes too. Christians make mistakes, but Christians do not plan to commit sin. They don't live in sin. What a lot of people are doing is that they are living in sin. Listen, if you fall, rise up and continue to run. Daniel was told, many shall be purified and made white and tried. Trials shall try them and in their trials, they will be purified. Come and join us and be made white in the blood of the Lamb. Come and join us. Put on the garment of righteousness and be made white. Be purified in the blood of the Lamb. Don't stay there because it will be too terrible. Don't stay there. Let's continue. But but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand the gospel message is foolishness to those in the world it doesn't make any sense but those who have been called those whose names have been written in the book of life before the foundation of the world was laid they will understand if you are listening to me now please make the best use of this opportunity because the time is closing against us there is no more time this could be my last message
This could be the last video you are watching. Why can't we prepare? Look at what Daniel was told. Um, Daniel chapter 12 verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Why would the Bible talk about knowledge? Why would the Bible talk about people running to and fro? It is going to be a time of confusion. It is going to be a time that people will lose their hearts. It is going to be a time of deep corruption. It is going to be a time that people will adapt, will adopt the wrong knowledge and increase the wrong knowledge. Just type anything on Google. What you see most times, especially when it has to do with real biblical core truth. What Google will bring up for you will be the lie. Sometimes, if it ranks the truth, look very well. You will see that there are some lies hidden inside. Wrong knowledge. People shall grow in the wrong direction. Knowledge shall be increased. People are now merging themselves with machines. Because they feel that they need to enhance humanity. Some are pursuing living forever so that they will not die. <laughs> In the midst of this, those who are wise, they understand. Don't be foolish in any way. Pick up your senses. There is no sense outside the word of God. Pick up your senses and be wise. Are you ready if the rapture takes place now? This is the end time already. If the rapture takes place now, will you be raptured? Let me pray with you. Oh Lord our God, thank you. Savior, thank you for your word. I ask that you write this words in our hearts. I pray for your children, especially those who are willing and ready to give their lives to you, that Lord, you will help them. May the Lord help you. Even in your weakness, be helped. Receive help in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord God Almighty help you. I pray for you that as you cry unto the Lord to accept you into his kingdom, receive help. Receive grace so that you will never look back because looking back is dangerous. Lord, forgive your children and accept these ones to yourself. I also pray for as many who have made up their minds, who are running this race, that Lord, you will help them to complete this race. Pray for you that the power of the Lord will see you through. May the grace of the Lord envelop you. May the power of God most high envelop you in the name of Jesus Christ. I seal your faith with the blood of Jesus. Whatsoever thing that is a problem in your life, your health, your finances, your work, your family life, I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free, be delivered. Father Lord, thank you. I pray for as many who have been supporting our ministry and our charity organization. Lord, support them all. May the blessings of the Lord be showered upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May every pocket that has holes be mended now. May the Lord heal your finances in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hear hearing us. Thank you, Lord, for answering us. Even now, I remember as many that are sick. May the Lord heal you. Receive your healing now. May the name of Jesus Christ that you believe in heal you. Every one of you that watch this video, that say amen to this prayer, whether now or another time, 
receive your healing now in the name of Jesus be healed it is done in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen please share this video share this video with someone and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching see you next time God bless you bye bye